Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the discrete uniform distribution and using the normal distribution to make approximations based on that distribution. A computer routine, select one of the following five integers, one to five, at random and replicates the process a total of 100 times. Let S be, denote the sum of the 100 numbers selected, okay? So essentially we could have any number from 100 to 500 okay one for uh, for s okay so s or uh, 100 means that we generate one 100 times in a row and 500 means we generate five uh, generate five 100 times in a row as well which is highly 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 unlikely but not impossible but any it would be impossible to get 99 or 501 okay the most likely values are around 300 okay for the sums now this is a discrete uniform distribution uh, it doesn't actually explicitly stay there say it there but we will just sort of assume it. okay now the upper and lower bound so it's x is a uniform distribution now x is the e each sample drawn and a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 5 okay so that's the for each particular observation not the sums now okay this is the probability density function there but what we're really interested in here is the mean and the variance so the mean is one half of a plus b which is here we're looking at u is one and five so half of one plus five is three okay uh, this is a more correct form for the variance here but sometimes in a lot of textbooks that plus one and that minus one does not make an appearance but this is more yeah we'll use this one that's all i'm saying here so in some books it might be just a b minus a squared over 12. okay so this adds a little bit of a correction to it so we'll use this one here okay b minus a plus one squared minus one divided by 12. okay so the mean value of x is equal to three and the variance of x is equal to five minus one which is b minus a plus 1. So that is 5 squared minus 1, and that over 12, and that gives us 25 minus 1 over 12, which is equal to 2. There's a little typo there that the minus sign did not come out. So the variance there is equal to 2. Okay, so when we sum up our 100 observations, okay s is the sum of 100 observations one five three and so on we expect the mean to be 300 which is three times 100 and we expect the variance there to be two times 100 okay now so the question asks actually asks us calculate the approximate probability that s assumes a value between 280 and 320 inclusive okay so the question here is probability of 280 less than or equal to s less than or equal to 320 okay now so what we have to do use here is a continuity correction factor okay so essentially what we're dealing with x is a discrete random variable where s is assumed to be normally distributed so uh, or s is like normally uh, we're is we're approximating it using using the normal distribution okay so essentially what we are going to do here is we are going to use this one here and this one here okay to come up with use the continuity correction factors for that okay so probability of 280 less than or equal to s less than or equal to, uh, 320 when we apply the continuity correction factors i should use an s there we are looking computing the probability of being being between 279.5 and 320 okay now essentially what we're doing here is a normal distribution question after this so it's essentially find the z score in each case uh 279.5 minus 300 and 320 minus 300 and bo in both cases divided by 200 so it's a fairly straightforward calculation really in both cases 
the Z score is 1.45, okay? So a little bit of calculator work should get us down to 0 0.853. So I, I, I sort of very, was very brief at the normal distribution part, this part here. After this, really, you should have no problem with this. Um, because otherwise we're back to Z score, interval, symmetry value, complement rule, stuff like that. If you don't know that stuff, you're going too far with this stuff. So go back to normal distribution stuff. You should get an answer close to 0 0.853. Okay, we'll leave it there.